hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if this is the first time that you are seeing me thank you so much for stopping by my little subscribers i love you thank you so much from my heart to you thank you so today i'm here to talk about uh, what david Indain is going through because of us nigerians that uh, we need to appreciate david now he cried out to to un <clears throat> to UN to report. Practically, he reported uh, Ahmed Obola Tinubu and his uh, government and his criminality to UN. Mm -hmm. He reported it. Oh my God, I was so proud of him. I like that boy. I like his style. I like the way that he is not shutting up. I like the way that they he's not allowing them to, to tie him down. I think they ran him out of the country I think 2020 during ENSA, something like that, because of what he reported. In case, in case you forgot what this boy has done, that 2020, he is one of the people that reported what is happening in Nigeria so that people in diaspora or people all over the world will know what is happening, how Nigerian government is deleting their people. He is one of the people, and because of it, they tried to look for him, and he ran out of the country and got asylum somewhere, and he's in Ghana. I didn't even know he was in Ghana, but he's in Ghana. He's the one uh, last month or so, he last month or so, that Ahmed Bolatum want to take us to war to Niger. He want to go to Niger. He started putting all the army, uh, putting everything to go to war in the secret without letting Nigerians know that this is why I am going to war. Before even letting the Senate know that approve or no approve, I'm going to war. He did not. He's doing it in secret. Thank God for this David. David blew his secret and brought it out in the in the open for Nigerians to see that, hey, listen, this man want to go to war. He got all his evidence and boom, it was true. And it was just because of this single one of blowing it that Ahmed Bola Tinubu should not go to war that, that nobody called him. that no yeah, For no reason at all. He, he is doing everything, everything to get this boy. He has sent Jet to Ghana to go and kidnap him the way they kidnapped Namdekano. They think that because they kidnapped Namdekano and got away with it. Yeah, they got away with it because he's been there two years. Thank God that they didn't do anything to him. So they were smart enough at least to know that if anything happened to Namdekano, that and Nigeria won't be Nigeria anymore. So they are smart enough. But what they are doing is to keep the man in jail. Sick or no sick, stay in jail. Even if he stay in jail and they did it. And, and whatever it is that's happening to him, they don't give it them. So they want to do the same thing. There's another DJ during 2020. Another, oh, this young girl, DJ Switch or something like that. That they, they ran out of the country. And they bought, I think the girl is in, um, in Canada. So they are outside. And they are seeing what is happening in Nigeria. And they are reporting it. So one thing that I know that David is doing that I like so much is that he is speaking out. He is not letting them sit on him. So he ran to, he he has put all this video uh, last week about what I made about Latin and his uh, criminality, criminal people are doing or trying to do. He has put it out. And that wasn't enough. UN gave him platform. He got when I grow up, I want to be like this David. Eh? I want to be like him. I beg David. Maybe Omoele Shore train him because Omoele Shore is another fearless, fearless human being. It's another fearless human being that I know. But since he went to Nigeria, he's not being as fearless as he used to be. He's not reporting as he used to be anymore. Because when you go to that Nigeria, they will turn you from whatever it is. And and for what he has gone through, I don't blame him. I don't blame him if he calm down. If he calm down the way he reports his thing. Because if he's reporting the way David is reporting, he will not be in Nigeria. He will not be in Nigeria. And because he wants to be in Nigeria, he wants to belong in Nigeria. This man refused to take any citizenship from America after being here for 12 years. And I lie, I go take him. I go take him. I, go, I will take it. You mean I will stay here with, with where they have light, road, hospital, healthcare, everything. I will have it. And they say, Jane, come and carry this, you know. Hmm? And, and I say, no, 
No, I don't want to because I don't want them so that they say that I, I did not uh, that I am a citizen in America. Now they crazy. I am a citizen here. I'm a citizen here. That pay my taxes. That take care of my business. And America take care of me for being here, for doing the right thing. So I'm going to take it. So, but let me not get away from David. David did not stop there by uh, announcing about this war. Hmm? David didn't stop there. This guy is, is unbelievably too much. He's a fearless guy. His name will go down the history of Nigeria as one of the greatest man in Nigeria. As young as he is, a very young man that is doing great thing with his computer. He stays in his computer. You see this certificate now that is causing uh, too much wahala. Eh? It was the same David that brought it out and told us that it's not... He, he already got the certificate. He subpoenaed Chicago University or Chicago University of Chicago, wherever it is that he said he went to school. After after he gave a school, a school where he said he went to elementary school, it no happen. They he say high school, none of those schools happen. So he gave him, he, he triggered something in his brain. He triggered something in his brain. He's like, oh oh, if he gave elementary school and it's not none, he gave a high school, it's none. Ah, let me check this. Uh, uh, Chicago one too. He went to Chicago. And he got he got it that is a woman. He's parading a fake certificate that is in a woman's name. When they caught him on that one, he blamed the person that filled the form. So that means he didn't fill the form himself to know what is in the form. He did not fill it. And the person that that is in the certificate that is a woman is a citizen of, of America. <laughs> God. So it's the same David. That told us about Guinea passports when he said in the INEC form where they asked him, Have you ever been a citizen of another country? He said no. And it's one of the disqualifying things in Nigeria for you to run for anything in Nigeria. He said no. David found out that he was a citizen of Guinea. How did they answer that one? They said the, the passport has expired. <laughs> they said the passport has expired. With the passport with my passport expiring here make me not be a citizen of america or with my passport expiring in nigeria make me not be a citizen of nigeria he said because the passport is expired so and the court allowed it mm -hmm. so david is doing what judiciary could not do in nigeria david is doing what all the supreme court all the judges all the elites we are not able to do in Nigeria because why uh, this man is doing everything to get it from the court right here in US thank God he gave US as where a place where he went to school hmm? thank God he did that because if he was in Nigeria this case would have been closed because uh, no, ju no judge in Nigeria will, say, will take it away from him they will continue so the court in U.S. is about to unmask this man for us to know a little bit of who he is. Because we don't know where this man comes from. And thanks to David, David is the one that is showing us that, hey, this man is not who he said he is. So somebody that you don't know, his father, his mother, his village, a lot of idiots are coming out now and say, hey, we went to school with him in Chicago. We are not doubting that, no, that you went to school with him. We, we are not saying that uh, he didn't go to school. Let him show us the certificate. Just like uh, some of the idiots that are coming out uh, are trying to show their certificate. No problem. You showed it. No problem now. But let him show his own. He came out and he said that the judge should show us. The, the judge of U.S. should show us. <laughs> should show us uh, just his certificate that said, uh, I made a Ebola Tinubu or, or Tinubu A, e, whatever. They could uh, graduated. But don't show them the gender. Hey, God. It was the same David. Because David has this, this thing right here. It was right here. So David cried out. 
to UN and say, UN, this is what the mayor Bola Tinubu is trying to do to me. This is what the mayor Bola Tinubu is trying to do to me for doing my job, for doing my job well. Because even the news in Nigeria, both the Arizo, both the... Uh, um, they cannot ask the type of question that this boy asks. They cannot, even if they mind what they say in Nigeria, because if you say too much, they come and carry you and put you in jail. And there's nothing you can do about it. And David is giving us all these things from outside. Anybody that will touch this boy, you are touching the whole Nigerians. I don't care, people. This one is not a race thing. No. It's not a race thing. It's not whether uh, it's not whether it's a Yoruba, whether it's Igbo, whether it's also whether it's a Muslim or whether it's Christian. That's not what we are here for. And if you are here and you are still saying inside inside of you inside this side of you that you are still fighting for christianity for muslim for yoruba for our for everything that is going on in our country eh? they need to bring you they need to bring you outside and leave you in the sun the nigerian sun that is so hot and keep you there mm -hmm. that's what they should do to you because what i was going to say that they should do to you eh? i will not say it i will not say it from my mouth and i think when they bring the food to you for you to eat i don't think you should find your mouth to put it in if you are still fighting for the gender uh i'm from nine i am from yoruba i am from Aosa. i am from a Igbo. i am a christian i am a muslim you are a moron you are imbecile that's what you are if if what we are doing now is to fight for our country and bring our country from the hands of criminals that have kidnapped our country that will never happen in anywhere did you see because of because of the uh, the people in niger how they put their foot down and they keep coming out every day telling a, a britain telling britain go get out uh, macron macron micron or micron get out of our country we don't want whatever business you are selling we don't want it anymore finally uh, Ma macron said okay i'm going to take a all this time he refused that he will never go out that africans cannot rule themselves he said africans cannot rule themselves that we should be their boy boy all the days of our life and who is reporting all this since it's david in the it's David Unde. Finally, because of how much that they are coming out and requesting for them to go, they finally agreed now that they will come out and leave the place, so that Nije can make their own rules, uh, benefit from their own whatever it is that they are, are selling. They can uh, negotiate a better deal that will benefit the country. But we are just sitting down. But no matter what, no matter how much we sit down, please let us not sit down and let them, allow them to take David. Because if they take David, hmm? if they take David, <laughs> it's like taking uh, Peter Obi. Uh -huh. if, because if anybody that touches Peter Obi will see, we see Pepe from everybody. Because Peter Obi is not uh, running for president for Igbo, Awosa, Yoruba, Christian, Muslim, running for Nigeria, for me and you, for us to get a, something good in our country. That's what he's running for. And David is doing the same thing. Everything that he's doing is to get a better system in our country. Because what we are doing now, eh? We are just at the mercy. So I, 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 let me use this uh, to encourage you. That if you have any problem with anybody at home, try and fix it. Because we don't have judiciary. And that is one of the things that David is working so hard at so that our judiciary work. But so far now, as long as Ahmed Obola Tinubu is there, the judiciary will not move. They cannot move. We want to see. We want to see this Ari Wola or whatever his name is that has judged that the forgery is a crime punishable by removing you from the office if he is going to after this thing come out from uh, from um uh, america if he will see it and still say that a forgery is allowed in nigeria they have allowed it in lagos they have allowed it in uh, enugu they have allowed it all over the place they have allowed it in the presidency too uh -huh. But now we are going to Supreme Court to see. So David is opening our eyes. David, 
use your platform right use your platform correctly use your platform to put david out there so that the world will see what a nigerian government is trying to do to him if you can do this eh so that they know that this boy is not alone david undain you are not alone we are behind you 100 percent and at the end of all these things god will bless you god will protect you from the hands of all evil and there's nothing they can do about it so i just want to come and bring this out so that we can shame the judiciary of nigeria we can let them know that okay you can do whatever you do in nigeria this david Undein has reported ahmed obola to the un he has reported him to the un and after reporting him to the un let us see if you and will just keep quiet and watch david Undein deleted or kidnapped and they do nothing then we, we already know that the un is mm, but we want to make sure to see to see because i think america is part of the un america is part of the un let us see if america will sit right there and watch them kidnap these people or delete this this boy ah god no that will not happen so i like his style i like what he's doing i like everything that he's doing and how he's bringing everything out hmm? and the same way that he got our back by bringing all these things out we got your back by putting it out there so the world will see what you're doing from me to you thank you so much for watching